hello clickers my name is maria shandorova and i'm responsible for product development at infinity welcome to a technical tuesday i hope you already know forms input extension for clicksense in this video i will show you how easy it is to create a new data storage for forms what you can see here is forms admin application it's a ClickSense application that's automatically uploaded to your work in your ClickSense environment during the installation. And it's a way how you can manage all forms in your Click. On this sheet, Forms Configuration, there is a Forms object responsible for managing data storages of forms. <laughs> so here you can see field named Form Instance ID, and that's unique identifier of a data storage. When you want to create a new data storage for forms, you can simply click on the plus button. Select a type of forms that can be a general for storing data into XML file on your server, general SQL for uh, storing data from forms general to a database. It can be a dimension node that's a data storage for forms specific and also data storages to XML and uh, database for objects commenting. Let's say for now, I'm going to create a data storage for forms general into XML file. I will call it Tech Tuesday. It's going to be XML file with the same name. I can save it. And one very important step when you create a new data storage, a new forms instance ID is to update form settings. Once I click on this button, form service is going to be restarted and all my changes are updated. Now I can go to my application. This is an app that contains um, dummy HR data. And now I'm going to create new forms objects for storing data on, let's say, team level. As we already know, forms objects can be found in the extension section. I will drag and drop new one. Add a dimension team. And new editable field description. Now this object is ready to be used. I can save data and my notes, my entries are saved in this moment. As you noticed, I didn't use form instance ID Tech Tuesday anywhere. And the reason is very simple. By default, the forms object has assigned form instance ID form general. It's because of seamless way how you can use forms. You can define your own new structure of forms general object on your sheet and then decide where the data should be stored. When I want to store my data to Tech Tuesday, I will edit it here. And now the data source is a Tech Tuesday XML. The previous description, human resources, is stored in forms general, and that's the reason why it disappeared. But when I add a new one, it's stored in XML file called Tech Tuesday XML. It's very simple, and there is also something more that can be helpful. If you don't want to have so many XML files here and you want to categorize them somehow or you want to manage access to them because of data connections from ClickSense, you can automatically create subfolder structures. I can create a new data storage, Tech Tuesday 2, in a subfolder that will be called subfolder. And once I click on Save button and Update Form Settings, the subfolder has been created automatically.
when I save any data to on instance ID Tech Tuesday 2. The new XML file is going to be created automatically. So it really is a great way how you can manage data storages on your server without even opening remote desktop of the server. Your click developers who should be responsible for defining form structures in ClickSense applications don't need to have access to server directly or don't need to go there because it can save their time. And it's also much more secure this way. This video was quite longer, but I really hope you find it useful. In next Tech Tuesday video, I will explain how to connect to a database. Thank you for watching and enjoy forums. Thank you.